I came to ask for my game back. It's my uncle's game now, Feach. Yeah, right, your uncle's. You'll still keep a lion's share of the rake. I'm in a way just asking if I can run it for you. Why would I need that? Eleven years I ran it. No fights, no raids. I'll give you 20%, but you gotta rent the house from me. I could throw some high rollers your way. Friends of mine. <laughs> well, Doc, that was the uh, plans for the wedding. Please, it's not a wedding planner anymore. It's an environment and event coordinator. What the hell? She's my only daughter. She and Iris have their hearts set on making the vows column of the Sunday New York Times, featured couple of the week. Our publicist is looking for a hook. Turns out that Jillian's law degree from Harvard means bupkis. Everybody's got that or better. If it was a black couple or a gay couple, they'd be in. Hmm. <laughs> My wife calls the Times wedding session the lady sport page. So, oh, Ira, who's the lucky guy? Jeremy Silverman, puppeteer, children's television workshop. Oh, there's Asa Silverman, head of commercial paper at Goldman Sachs. Go, go, hurry! So, you guys like your job? <laughs> FEMA Space 43! Can I have your attention? Apparently, there's been an armed robbery. Some automobiles were taken. They left all the American cars. Oh, my God. I think his skull is broken. Oh, my God. I'm a doctor. Let me in there. Brooke, our car is gone. Now who's a genius for keeping his regal? Hey, sir, they got the SL. That was a fucking SL-55 convertible. You know how long my brother was on the waiting list for that thing? A motherfucking year. You have anything to do with that wedding takedown in Ringwood? Why, is that a problem? I told you that doctor was a friend of mine. I deliberately used that word. Are you aware of how many things a fucking MD can do for us? Sorry, Godfather. He was at the game. I thought he was just another pigeon. Who authorized you to do it? And don't call me Godfather with that fucking cute smirk. I know it was wait for a long time. But when did that happen? You gotta ask permission to ply your trade? Here's your end. Be happy. When were you going to tell me about it if I hadn't called you here? I'm here now. I'm telling you about it now. That's the second time I'm playing catch up with you. What the fuck are you talking about? The lawn cutting. What do I have to send you a memo every time I move my bowels, too? You're so concerned about my end. Why don't you put one of those cars through my shops? What? Johnny Sack told me about this guy in Newburgh. Johnny Sack? Yeah, Johnny Sack. Anyway, he gave me a better deal for shipping him home. Are you fucking serious? I don't like the way I'm being talked to you. What did I tell you when you came to me? Said you wanted back in. I said, as long as you don't step on anybody's toes. In my day. And that's another thing. I don't want to hear no more about how it was in your day. You just keep your antidotes to local color, like Dynaflows or McGuire Sisters or shit like that. Otherwise, shut the fuck up! Jesus Christ, Feach, I'm trying to ease your transition here. And this is the thanks I get? I'm sorry if I offended you. You gotta remember, Tony, I still think he is a kid. I'll learn. Did I learn nothing from Mitchie April? Huh? Nip it in the bud. Feach.